Most ponds in Alabama require 10 to 12 applications of fertilizer each year. However, this can vary. This is because every pond responds differently to fertilizer. For example, ponds located in relatively fertile soil or ponds that have a watershed that receives a heavy amount of fertilization may require fewer applications. Likewise, ponds that are in alkaline soil or have a high lime content may require fewer applications. On the other hand, ponds that have a very large watershed or has a flowing stream running through it may require more frequent applications to maintain that healthy phytoplankton bloom. This is why it's very important that you fertilize based on the water visibility rather than a calendar. Fertilization should be initiated in the spring when the water temperature stabilizes above 60 degrees, usually in late February to early April, depending on the region of the state where the pond is located. The next two applications should be at two week intervals. Then apply fertilizer when the water visibility exceeds 18 inches. Stop fertilizing when the water temperature drops below 60 degrees. It is important to remember that applications should always be at least 10 to 14 days apart. When measuring water visibility, you're actually measuring the density of phytoplankton in the water column. If the pond happens to be muddy from heavy runoff, don't try to measure the visibility because you want to know how green the water is. A simple method for determining water visibility is to use a Secchi disk. This is basically a round object about six inches in diameter that can easily be seen and it's attached to the end of a yardstick. This is lowered down into the water and then you take note of where the water level comes up to the yardstick when the object goes out of sight. This is your water visibility. A green water visibility of 12 to 18 inches is ideal and that's what you want to try to maintain. If this visibility becomes over 18 inches, it's time to add a little fertilizer. If this visibility is less than 12 inches, then do not add fertilizer. In fact, if it becomes less than 10 inches, then observe the pond early in the morning for abnormal fish activity because this could result in a fish kill.